In brightest day and blackest night, no evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evil smite beware my power, Green Lantern's light. And with that, welcome to my uh, uh, new video to of my all history series. In this uh, episode, we take, of course, the Green Lanterns. Just want to mention that I'm only gonna uh, count the human Green Lanterns. So. Not any alien ones of the, of the cops, just the uh, human Green Lanterns. As first, we have of course Alan Scott, the first uh, Green Lantern introduced in the golden uh, age of comics, so like in the 1940s. In the original stories, Alan Scott was a railroad worker who got his powers originally by a magical lamp. This was later retconned to bring him closer to the Green Lantern Corps. It was then stated that it was an early attempt to create the Green Lanterns by the Guardians of the, uh, of the Universe. And this picture is from the Kingdom Come series, not actually from the comics. Um, Alan Scott is now uh, a new version of Alan Scott is now featured in the Earth 2 series, where his powers are a little bit different than in the, than in the original. So, I just wanted to hear shortly mentioned uh, uh, Jennifer Lynn Hayden, who is the daughter of Alan Scott and most acted as Jade, but became for a short time period also. Uh, 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 a Green Lantern. So, as daughter of Alan Scott, she inherited his Green Lantern powers and uh, uh, through an object called the Star Heart. The energy comes practically from inside her, so she can basically do everything uh, uh, what a normal Green Lantern can, but she doesn't need to recharge or something like that. She has also a brother who is called Obsidian, and and his real name is uh, uh, Todd Rice. So now we, we come to the Silver Age of comics, and there was a new version of the Green Lantern uh, introduced, and this is of course uh, Harold Hal Jordan. So, well, basically, basically we all know who Hal Jordan is, so I'm just saying shortly. Hal Jordan was a young test pilot who crashed uh, with his uh, fighter jet near to an alien spaceship, which belonged to the dying Evan Sewer. His ring chose Hal and made him the first human Green Lantern. Also, you should know that there was a second person considered by the ring, but it wasn't just near enough. Hal Jordan was also used in the awful Green Lantern movie, played by Ryan Reynolds. But I spare you the pictures and we'll all try to forget this movie. And I think uh, Hal Jordan even broke the, uh, the, the power ring once and now before DC Rebirth ha happened, he had the uh, Green Lantern uh, glove of Krona and use it instead of the ring. And this uh, globe was much much more powerful. But in the new uh, upcoming um, Hell John and the, and the Green Lantern Corps, he will return to his normal ring. I also want to mention that he was for a short time uh, uh, bonded to the, uh, uh, to the uh, uh, entity of fear, Parallax. And this was uh, then happened the Emerald Twilight disaster, which is a terrible, terrible thing, but typically kind of a 90s thing. So, I think, or, or 80s, I don't know really, <laughs> but Emerald Twi Twilight is really not good. Hal Jordan had also uh, made um, ridiculous constructs besides Kyrena. He really did some weird shit and. Uh, yeah, most of the time 
when you look for um, most ridiculous uh, constructs ever built by a Green Lantern and it's either uh, Hal Jordan or Kyle Rayner in the list. So here we have the third uh, human Green Lantern, Guy Gardner. Basically he's the jerk of the corpse. Um, and more in the next slide to him. Uh, uh, this was actually the person I was talking about uh, in, in the first slide of uh, Hal, Hal Jordan. He was actually the second one, uh, second contestant for the uh, for the ring, but he was just not close enough to Evan Sue, so the ring chose uh, Hal instead. Um, he still became later uh, a Green Lantern, and as most known for his anger issues, impulsive beha behavior and inferior complex which comes from uh, from an ab abusive childhood and the feeling that his older brother was always stronger stronger than him because uh, his older brother could deal with the um, abuse of his father and he not. That made him very very angry and led him later to become of uh, a yellow lantern so he uh, used Sinestro's ring while Sinestro was in a coma for a sh short time but when Sinestro probably woke up I didn't read the story. I'm sorry uh, I haven't read everything about Green Lantern stuff so but I think uh, the most reasonable thing is that Sinestro woke up and uh, called his uh, yellow ring back. In the 90s he became um, a half alien. I f the race is called I think uh, Vondarian and um, he could make weapons with his body and he looked very very weird. I spare you the pictures because his persona as warrior looks absolutely awful and just the typical 90s uh, extreme stuff where everything has to be extreme brutal and everybody has to look crazy and big muscles so it's really really awful the design for the warrior incarnation. Um, while the war of the lights happened he uh, transitioned to a red lantern where he could finally use uh, prop properly his rage um, before he changed back to the green lanterns. But in a new 52, uh, new 52, he changed again to Red Lantern and became even the leader by beating Atrocitus. This didn't hold long, and he became a Green Lantern again. So I think John Stewart should know. Uh, everybody should know John Stewart too. He's practically my most uh, 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 favorite Green Lantern of them all just because he's so damn cool. His contracts, uh, his constructs are the most serious and uh, and um, he was in the Justice League animated show and the Justice League Unlimited show which made him even more popular. So he started off as a replacement of for Guy Gardner and in his first appearance where, uh, where he teamed up with Hal Jordan to stop a politician, he declined to wear a mask because he wanted exactly to know that the people are saved by a black person. Just a side note, this was in the 70s, so racism was a pretty big deal. I don't want to say that it's uh, not a big deal today, unfortunately. It still is, so, but there it was even bigger, so yeah. He's also the first um, uh, African American super superhero of DC Comics. Yeah, he was in the animated Justice League uh, and Justice League Unlimited uh, TV shows, uh, like I said. And um, despite his role as Green Lantern, he was also the first human who became a guardian, uh, a similar space hero to the Green Lanterns uh, called Dark Star. And in the War of the Light, um, 
storyline he was he used um the ring of indigo one to become a member of the indigo tribe it was that was later changed back so he's now a normal green lantern again like i said he has the most solid objects due to his uh, military and uh, past and he were and he worked also as an architect not really successful but uh, um uh, he worked as an architect before he became a green lantern that makes his constructs probably the most believable and most coolest construct so he's the one who builds like machine guns or gatling guns just in the middle you know like heavy guns and stuff and construction buildings he knows best uh, how to um kind of how to uh, how to do them and um uh, it was stated by Hal Jordan that he's the best flyer. I don't know if this uh, uh, counts for every uh, Green Lantern. Um, you know, his role as the best flyer of the Green Lantern Corps or just uh, um, at the human Green Lanterns. So for my fa most favorite version uh, of, the, of, uh, of the Green Lantern, are we coming to my least favorite version and that's, that is Kyle Rayner so um yeah Kyle uh Kyle Rayner uh, got his uh, ring by the by the guardian Gantelt who is pretty popular and Gantelt uh, later uh, founded the uh, Blue Lantern Corps with uh, I think Sade so um and was the last living green lantern at this time under under the rest of the owens so the uh, the owens uh, uh the people who are living on or so i mean the guardians uh he was known as the torchbearer he later revived the central battery uh, on or and the guardians so uh, pretty pretty powerful i would say now, that's my uh, most uh, point uh, that's my biggest point why I don't uh, really like him because he's just always so powerful and I don't see him as such a cool character um, later fused with the entity of the uh, of willpower iron so um, basically every power battery has its own uh, entity in the uh, yellow lantern it's and the yellow lantern central battery it's parallax and in the green lantern uh, central battery it's iron um but this was just for a short time so uh, later sodom yet became the new iron no oh, sodom yet is a uh, dexamite i'm not going into him so much because this is about the humans and not any aliens um while the war of the light he was a uh, he was a blue lantern and uh, he was also the first person to harness the, the complete emotional spectrum so there's this uh, the, uh this is a really cool moment where just all rings of the uh, of the leader of the different corpses uh, um light corpses flying to him you know and get on his fingers and he's like rainbow color like and then But when he masters uh, to control uh, um, all, all of his emotions, he becomes a white lantern. So the white lantern of uh, <laughs> no, of life. Yeah. Um, and I think he uh, I think he returned then to being a green lantern for a short time before he became uh, permanently a white lantern and still is. So I can't really say much about him, bigger, just that he's the uh, fifth uh, human person who became a Green Lantern, and the uh, Simon Bass, um, who was re uh, introduced in the New 52 and has appeared in some storylines, but nothing really that says much about his character. Um, yeah, I think he's uh, he was uh, created to show the struggles of Muslim Americans. Uh, uh, being accused to be all terrorists and uh, 
how how they react with it. So it's kind of cool and also how his uh, tattoo glows every time he puts on the green, green lantern ring. So yeah, and he, he has a probably the most badass costume from all of them. So yeah, like I said, he, he was introduced in a new 52. He's a, a Lebanese American Muslim and um, after after the Green Lantern Ring departed again from Sinestro, he became the new bearer of the ring. He was in the uh, in the Wrath uh, Wrath of the First Lantern storyline, so the one with Voltum, the First Lantern, the the uh, Guardians really created in the in the Trinity War, which is kind of oh, of cool too, um, where he kept um. Cyborg alive after Cyborg was attacked by Grit and Grit took his body over and will be featured in the um, upcoming uh, comic book series Green Lanterns uh, where he has to mentor Jessica Cruz. And in most of his adventures he also uh, sh shows that he possesses a handgun just or just an in the emergency that uh, his uh, ring runs out of power. Also, uh, what's pretty interesting is that he doesn't completely trust in, in the Green Lantern uh, power. So, I don't know how this <laughs> works, you know, because it dep depends on willpower, but um, he doesn't believe really in it. And he was, uh, or still is, a part of the Justice League of America. Uh, not to be confused with the Justice League team or the Justice League Dark team or the Justice League International team. Gosh, DC has so many um, Justice League teams. That's not even funny. Same thing with Marvel. Uh, yeah. Now we become. Uh, we are coming to the um, to the second power ring. Just uh, uh, just want to say that the uh, power ring. Is not actually um, con a superhero. It was originally a villain, and um, this is to uh, due to the ring of Voltum. Not confused with the first lantern or uh, Voltum. And yeah, like I said before, this is um, the second power ring and the seventh uh, uh, Green Lantern, Jessica Cruz. So I'm not going really much into the into her backstory. I'm just saying how she got, you know, how she got her ring, and um, and uh, uh, what she's uh, being up to. So um, she was first introduced as second power ring, kind of. You, know, uh, you get her backstory a bit later. It's always like this. Um, well, not exactly, but. Um, After, after the Earth, uh, Earth free version of Hell, Hell uh, Jordan died, and uh, the ring was stripped from, uh, stripped from uh, uh, this Hell Jordan. You know, his hand was just uh, be cutting off, but uh, Hell, jo uh, Hell Jordan from Earth free was already too consumed by the ring that it um, killed him without. Uh, yeah, the, the ring of Voltum is pretty bad, and um, it uh, it feeds on the on the life of uh, of the user. So she tried to be kind of the uh, to be kind of a heroic version of Power Ring, but um, uh, and had to resist many times against the evil. Uh, uh, evil ring and uh, it's bad influence influence but finally in the dark side war the ring the ring of world two was destroyed thus freeing her from the bad influence of the uh, of this uh, evil ring and she g but shortly after we she was chosen by a new green lantern ring and uh, she gladly accepted now she's a part of the Green Lantern Corps and um, her journey will be uh, told in the 
the already mentioned Green Lanterns comic book series as part of DC Rebirth. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. It took me a little bit more uh, uh, to research and I hope you really, really, really like it. You don't have to drop a like, but if you want it, uh, uh, drop a like and support me. Tell me what I could do better. Um, and we see us in the next video. Either it's a gameplay video or another one of my uh, all heroes, all villains version because I think they're coming also some villains I don't I don't know yet but definitely there's coming something. So yeah, thanks for watching and bye.